I received a smartphone type V30T from Doji. The form factor is identical to that of the S98 Pro which I reviewed about 10 months ago, but the inner components differ significantly. The screen is only slightly larger with a diagonal of 6.58 inches, but the battery capacity has increased enormously to 10800mAh. The rugged design of the V30T makes clear that this phone is also made for use outside of dollhouses. If you are interested in all the technical data, have a look at the website of how open is this gadget. In this video I will focus more on the camera and audio capabilities. Also, I will not dip the V30T in water or intentionally throw it off the table. I trust that the rugged case can take a lot, at least the S98 Pro has survived all unintentional falls without damage and hasn't quit service even in rainy weather. Something that I haven't seen on a smartphone to this extent for a long time caught my eye on the V30T. Screws! Personally, I almost always find screw connections better than parts glued together. The slot on the side is designed for inserting two SIM cards. If only one SIM card is needed, a microSD card of up to 2TB can be used to expand the memory. USB sticks can also be used for data transfer. To give you an idea of the audio capabilities, I will now switch off my studio microphone and record my voice with the V30T's microphone. The first test recording was made with the pre-installed app called Sound Recorder. The stereo soundtrack is saved by the V30T with a sampling rate of 48kHz as an MP4 variant with a bandwidth of 128kbps per second. The file name extension is 3GA. As always, no comment from me on the audio quality. Connect good speakers to your playback device, open your ears and judge for yourself. From now you will hear my voice from a video recording from which I then extracted the audio track. Here the double bandwidth of 256 kilobits per second is recorded, also in MP4 format with a sampling rate of 48 kilohertz in stereo. A difference can definitely be heard. From now on my studio microphone will be used again and the audio output of the V30T will be tested. For that I'll replay the S98 Pro review. Time to open your ears again and listen to my voice through the V30T's speakers. It is a very robust device with a large battery capacity of 6 ampere hours. The screen is also pleasantly large with a diagonal of 6.3 inches corresponding to 16 centimeters. I'll stop rattling more of the specs now. You can read all of them on the website of how open is this gadget. What can be controlled from far, far away? The Let's stick with playing videos but turn off the sound. The resolution of the screen is 2408 x 1080 pixels. With a screen diagonal of 6.58 inches, this corresponds to 401 pixels per inch, which is around 16 pixels per millimeter. The maximum contrast is specified as 1500 to 1, the brightness as 400 candela per meter squared. Material. 
With a fully charged battery, the V30T can play videos in full screen mode streamed via VLAN for about 18 hours. With the included 66W charger and USB-C cable, the 10800mAh battery is then charged from 10 to 80% in 35 minutes. The smartphone and charger heat up to around 39 and 54 degrees Celsius respectively. 90% battery capacity is reached after 51 minutes. Let's test the built-in cameras. The video sequence shown here was recorded with the main camera with a resolution of 3840 x 2160 pixels and 30 frames per second. In bright ambitious light, this camera delivers well-focused, smooth videos. The camera focuses down to a distance of 10 cm. As an extra, there is a slow motion function. This records videos with 4 times the frame rate, which means that the movement is only a quarter of the speed when played back at 30 frames per second. However, an audio track is not available in that mode. When the lights in my video studio are switched off and the LEDs next to the cameras are switched on, the V30T still records very bright, high contrast videos. To do this, however, the exposure time has to be extended, which results in an image refresh rate of only 15 frames per second. The movement of the turntable looks therefore a bit jerky. After switching to the night vision camera, the video is recorded in grayscale, also with a resolution of 3840 x 2160 pixels. Two infrared LEDs used in night vision mode are located directly next to the lens. The night vision camera records the video at 20 frames per second, which makes the movement look smoother again. Unfortunately, the focus point cannot be set manually, at least with the current software version. It is clearly visible that the autofocus is active from time to time during the recording. Another camera with a more wide angle lens can focus on objects down to just 3 cm. With this macro lens you can record close up videos. The maximum video resolution of this camera is 1920 x 1080 pixels at 20 frames per second. The selfie camera also records videos with a maximum resolution of 1920 x 1080 pixels at 30 frames per second. This only focuses automatically and only if a face has been detected. The main camera can take photos with a resolution of up to 12000 x 9000 pixels. In bright ambition light you get photos that you can zoom in to all the details. The maximum resolution of the night vision camera is 5184 x 3888 pixels, which is about 20 megapixels. The selfie camera takes photos with up to 6560 x 4928 pixels, which is 32 megapixels. As always, 
Full resolution sample photos of all the cameras are available on the website of How Open Is This Gadget. Doji distributes updates for its devices at irregular intervals, a certain amount of system maintenance is provided. With the S98 Pro which I have been using for months now, I have not had any hard or software related trouble and all updates have been installed without any problems. The display of the Doji V30T is pleasantly large and sufficiently bright. The available computing power is more than just enough for everyday tasks and the internal memory of 256GB offers space for many videos and photos. You can easily get through the day outside your office and far away from a wall plug thanks to the 10800mAh battery, even with intensive fuse and thanks to the robust design, the device can put up with a lot. As always, more information, lots of photos of the device itself and sample shots taken with all of its cameras can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. Have a click. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.